India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. You can find yourself walking for hours in the scorching desert sun. The water you're carrying can and will run out. You might be needing to drink about two liters of water every hour to prevent from getting dehydrated and suffering from heat stroke. When you've run out of water in your bottle and you've got no place to replenish it from, you can actually recycle your own body fluids to stay cool. And here's how. Take a look. The wind started blowing a little while ago and I was blasted with these sand particles. I had sand everywhere. And one thing I do not have is water. And I'm going to finish off this water. Even if not the whole thing, I'll take a nice, generous sip. Now this water is nearly over and I know I'm getting dehydrated because of all the symptoms that are happening. And it's been quite some time since I last peed. But before the sun sucks out the rest of my body fluids, I'm going to recycle this water that is going inside my body. And I'm going to use that to stay just a little bit cooler. And the only body fluid that I have at this moment that I can use is my own pee. It'll keep me alive. It'll keep me cool for at least some time. Now, I'll show you how you can use urine to stay cool. I need to get up for that. Now, what I'll do is I've got the scarf and I'll use the scarf, pee on it and use that to stay cool. This bottle is dry, but never throw away anything that you can use later. So I'll keep it for now and I'll have to take the scarf off and then pee. And I hope there's enough liquid in there to soak the scarf. So all this pee will now be on the scarf and I don't want to waste any of it. So we need to soak up enough of the scarf so that it gets nice and wet. There you go. It's nice and wet now and soak it in a little more. And what I can now do is take this. Maximum body heat is wasted from the top of the head and the back of the neck. So what I'll need to do is put this on my head and cover my neck. And if we had a thermal camera, you would immediately see that the urine, which is all the parts that it's touching of the body, that is cooling down almost like that immediately. And that's how you can recycle your body fluids and stay cool. So I'm good to go for another couple of hours, I would think. And then this is going to cool down and evaporate, dry out entirely. Then I have to decide what to do next. Pick up my bottle, walk back to camp. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate, and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri, and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints. Bring back nothing but memories.